Oh, so shout out to Mo Ivory. She's a professor over at Georgia State University's uh, Entertainment and Law Department. And she has decided that she will use candy as a uh, case study in her entertainment, sports, and media uh, law initiative class at GSU Law. It's going to be called The Legal Life of Candy Burris. And this is the press release. Hold on. Georgia State Law students will have the opportunity this fall to take a course on the career of Candy Burris, a singer, songwriter, actress, entrepreneur, and star of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. The course will be taught by Professor Mo Ivory as part of the Entertainment, Sports, and Media Law Initiative, which began in 2018 to prepare students for practice in Georgia's growing entertainment industry. So they're using Candy Burris's life and all of her many projects as a case study for GSU Law. So congratulations to Candy for that, for that. Meanwhile, you know, <laughs> I wanted to start with the good because if I start with the bad, y'all will drag me, y'all will drag me. Hmm. Hmm. Speaking of Candy. Did y'all watch Race in America on Bravo TV? Uh, are y'all honoring the boycott Bravo for their racial, uh, systemic racism that, you know, they've been allegedly doing throughout the years? What are, did, did y'all decide to do? Did y'all watch it? Did y'all sneak and watch it? Did y'all sign a petition? What did y'all do? Let me see what y'all saying in this chat. You said congrats, number two, okay, for in entertainment and contract law. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You said boring. You said nope. Uh, what else? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If my dog don't stop biggie, what are you doing? Come here. <laughs> so, okay, so now, who watched it? Who watched it? Hell to the now. Candy shut the game down. Boy, Nobody watched it. Nobody, nobody boycotting, boycotting. Well, apparently y'all telling the truth because the ratings on this show was in the crapper. Okay, the ratings for this show was in the crapper. Huh? I'm gonna show you what the ratings were for this show. Uh, Race in America, which featured Candy and Todd, Toya and her husband, Dr. Eugene. Uh, who else was in Portia was in? It was several people. Uh, apparently, Dr. Simone, it was a whole bunch of people, Giselle, Race in America special only got 0 0.3, 0 0.3 million viewers. And uh, 0 0.10 in the 18, 0 0.10 of that was in the 18 to 49 demographic. That is very, 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 very extremely horribly low. And shout out to the person who sent this to me, S. Uh, Davis come and sent this to me on uh, Instagram and was uh, Shade and Beast not and uh, it's Shade and Beast not. What's she saying? Talk about you never win when you play dirty Beast not. Why you didn't post this on your hating platform? God has the last say. Everything they do will will fail when they are playing dirty. Boycott Bravo and then she tagged me. Okay, shout out S Davis. But I was just like, I just want to know who watched it because I know some of y'all watched it. Somebody watched it. Um, no, you said you would have watched it. We, the people, did not support. I would have watched it if Candy's hands weren't in it. Oh, 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 okay. Well, let me show you what, what Candy uh, did say about it. Hold on. Let me pull up her Instagram. Here's what Candy said about it. She was very happy about it. She said she shed a little tear uh about it um hold on i'm gonna read her caption she said i actually shed a little tear after watching race in america on bravo tv i am proud to have been a part of such an important conversation thank you to everyone who used their voice you misspelled the word girl shared their story uh worked behind the scenes to make it happen i am extremely proud of lauren grace media the production company of owned by two black women, Dorothy Toran and Pharrell Picks, who brought the vision to life. Also, thank you, Bravo TV, for helping us amplify our voice. If you haven't watched it yet, please check it out. Hopefully, we can keep these conversations going. And then she put hashtag executive producer, hashtag executive producer. So she basically contracted it out to a another production company 
but she still uh but she still um produced it but anyway you guys did, but y'all didn't watch it y'all didn't watch it she didn't say anything candy always current but okay so now I'm going to show you some real shade. I'm going to show you some real shade. Candy and her BFFB snot. Because y'all be trying to figure out what if, if it's Kenya, if it's Candy, if it's everybody. So now Candy and her BFFB snot are on uh, are on uh, Instagram right now. Not Instagram. I'm sorry. Are on Twitter. Are on Twitter shading, uh, shading Nene Leaks. And remember when Nene Leaks had made the comment about Bravo did not like her calling herself a queen or calling herself the HBIC and all of that. Uh, Peep gay. So Candy B. Snot did an article today about Candy, you know, being honored with GSU and about Ty opening the steak and seafood restaurant. And he put HBIC, R-H-O-A, HBIC Candy first. And of course, Candy retweeted that. You know, she rarely retreats bloggers, but she retweeted B. Snot and said, thanks, love. And so, you know, people are like dragging her in the comments. Like some people are saying, yeah, 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 whatever. And then some people are like, you know, B. Snot still looking booty. <laughs> Y'all so mean. Some people say other stuff like, you know, I was just laughing. But anyway, I digress. I just thought that was a key. I just thought that was a key. I really did. You said the thirst. Exactly. Uh, Terry Crew, I mean Candy. See, y'all don't be seeing all the little microaggressions that be going on, but I be paying attention. I be paying attention to everything. So, um, yeah, y'all need to sign that protest. We have we, as in me, because I did sign it, so I, I consider myself a part of the collective on the protest. Uh, but I am protesting Bravo. I haven't been watching it. I signed the petition. I, you know, donated my little $20 to, to push it up in the uh, algorithm because they said the people who, when they ask you at the end, if you like to contribute, basically it's to contribute to the change.org platform in order for them to like promote whatever the petition is you just signed. So, you know, there's, there's that. But um, I will put the link down below. But it's also on my community tab if you want to revisit that and go and sign that. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't agree with it. But, you know, we talked to, you know, Alaka called in and, and, you know, basically told us why it was prepared. And so there's that. Uh I'm good at connecting the dots. You think, Reese? You think? I just, I just be wanting you to see it. I just be wanting y'all to pay attention. You signed it, okay? You signed it, okay? Cool, cool, cool. I see y'all. I see y'all. All All right, all right. So, um, yeah, a lot of y'all saying y'all signed, and a lot of y'all didn't. Because I'm looking at these them numbers. I'm like, they ain't going up. What happened? What happened to the people? Do I have to keep posting this every day? She needs to be dragged. Uh, Nene is the queen. Candy is not the grand dame of anything. What you said, Vanessa, what you said. But, you know, congratulations to her because I do agree that her um, her life in the music industry, because, you know, she was a singer, a songwriter. Uh, she was in a group. She's been on reality shows. I mean, you know, it's, it's very diverse and it would be a great case study for any person who wanted to go into the legal field. I mean, I agree. So uh, I don't know if that's nothing to, to congratulate her for, but I mean, I think it's definitely, you know, a good, you know, a good starting point. Uh, you signed it and pay money. Yeah. Cause basically boycott all Bravo shows, including Potomac. I don't even watch that. I don't even watch that. And they look and their ratings are low too, truth be told, but I ain't gonna say that. Wait a minute. What did my professor friend say? GSU is, can I read this? Let me see. Oh, my professor friends. <laughs> I have friends in so many high places. Uh, professor, uh, type in one if I can read this. Type, send me a text if I can read this because you know I'm going to read the text about Georgia State University about Candy's, uh, Candy's show. I mean, Candy's class or not Candy's class with Candy being a case study. Why y'all be trying to spill tea in the middle of the lot? That's why I be laughing at. Why y'all be trying to spill tea in the middle of the lot? Anyway, you guys go ahead and like this video. Like this video. You said, hey, professor, right. You said, read it. <laughs> the professor said, I can read it. Hold on. Uh, she said, child, I'm reading. <laughs> 
This my voice. This is our gossip voice. Child, GSU is struggling financially, getting students to apply to their law school for many reasons. So this ploy to tap into pop culture is a last ditch effort to secure their biggest cash cow, the law school. No shade to Candy. Just letting you know from the inside why we were doing all this. She is one of several celebs the law school is or has offered class on classes on but look look oh the shade and i didn't even shade it wasn't even me i know y'all gonna blame me but this is from somebody inside the gsu law school child <laughs> the shade i live for the shade i live for the shade anywho i digress i digress i digress <laughs> oh i would love i want to hear from y'all now I'm about to